Hi, I'm Josh Mass, producer on Toy Soldiers War Chest, and I want to thank everyone for watching and commenting on the weekly videos we've been doing. Everyone on the team is really happy to see the excitement around the game, so please keep it coming. Today we're going to focus on your army and describe what type of units you can expect to play in the game. Overall, you'll have vehicles and mobile units, as well as defensive structures on your battlefield. Each army is composed of different mobile unit types. The most important is your hero, who will also have a vehicle that they can control, like a tank or a pegasus. And heroes also have the ability to call in an ultimate attack called a barrage. Each hero will have different barrages available, and players can choose which barrage they have equipped to take into battles with them. For defensive units, you have turrets that you can place strategically on your map in designated locations. Each army will have anti-infantry, anti-armor, anti-air, and artillery turrets, and the differences between each army are pretty unique. Each turret also has health, damage, and range upgrades that make them more powerful as each game goes on, so they can defend your toy box from the attacking army. Ideally, you want to combine your units with your defensive turrets to your best ability so you can cover all areas in the map and react to the current wave of attackers. To answer Christopher's question on Facebook, will there be more than one hero per army or just one per army? There will only be one hero per army, but you'll be able to customize the equipment and stats of that hero that you take into battle to suit your playstyle. To answer Kurt's question about multiplayer, Unfortunately, we won't be tackling multiplayer just yet, but you can expect more information on that towards the end of this year. Please keep the questions coming, and we'll be back next week with more.